Hello my crafty friends. Today I have a fun and easy stamping technique that I want to share with you and I'm going to show you three different ways that you can use it in your card making. Hi it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV I have three different ways that you can use the bokeh technique in your card making. Now the cards in this video feature the Stampin' Up! Positive Thoughts stamp set and one of the new coordination products called the Nature's Thought Dies. However, keep in mind you can use any supplies you have on hand to create these cards. Just get creative with it. For a complete list of supplies and all of the step-by-step -step instructions for creating these cards, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Okay, so before we dive into the bokeh technique, let me tell you a little bit about what the term means. So bokeh is a Japanese term and it basically means an out of focus or blurred image. Now bokeh is typically used in photography, so if you've ever used the portrait feature on your iPhone, then you've used bokeh. In card making, bokeh refers to a two-step process. First, let's talk about creating the bokeh effect. So the concept for creating this effect really involves sponging and masking. So first we'll talk about the sponging. Now we're going to be using just a regular sponge or a sponge dauber to add a variety of different colors to the background of our card. So I typically use a five and a quarter by four inch piece of cardstock. And then I just randomly add a variety of different colors by sponging them onto that piece of cardstock. Now for these cards, I'm just using two different colors, but you can use as many colors as you want. My only recommendation is that you choose colors that really work well together. So for these cards, I'm using soft sea foam and seaside spray ink. So I'm going to start by sponging the lighter color first. So I'm going to take my soft sea foam and just randomly sponge it in a variety of different places on this piece of white cardstock. Next, I'm going to take a different sponge and ink it up with some of the Seaside Spray ink. And again, I'm going to randomly fill this in. And so I will keep alternating between the sea foam and the Seaside Spray ink until I have the entire piece of cardstock covered. Okay, so that's the sponging piece of it. But to create the bokeh effect, we also need to do some masking. So for this part, we need to create a mask using some circular shapes. So I'm just using a couple scrap pieces of cardstock and I punched out three different size circle shapes. So for the cards I'm sharing today, I used a three quarter, a one and a one and a quarter inch circle punch to create the different masks. Now, once we've created the circle masks, we simply lay them on the colorful sponged background and we start sponging different colors on there. So the first way you can achieve the bokeh effect is with some white craft ink. So this is the traditional way to achieve this look. So many of the cards you might see out on Pinterest or other sites involve the use of that white craft ink. So that's what you see here on this card. So here is what the finished card looks like. So this bokeh technique really creates a subtle background and is perfect for creating any type of card. The second way to create the bokeh effect is with just regular ink. So I recommend that if you're going to use this particular technique, that you choose a very light color to create those circular shapes or that bokeh look in the background. If you use too dark of a color, it will take away from the blurred kind of effect that you're looking for with this technique. So here's two different examples of how the bokeh effect looks when you use just regular ink. So you can see that for this, I created the little bokeh design in the background using that soft seafoam ink. So it just kind of gives it a subtle kind of blurred out look in the background. And then I created a little focal point for the card now the second one is the same concept, so I created that bokeh effect in the background using regular ink, except for this time I did some heat embossing. So I embossed the images in white right over the top of the bokeh design, and then added a couple little embellishments. And the last way that you can create the bokeh effect is, well, with a stamp. Now this is not just any stamp set, 
This is the Boca Dots stamp set from Stampin' Up. It's the easiest way to achieve this effect without any of the fuss. So there's no sponging, there's no masking. The stamp does it all for you. Simply ink up the Boca Dots image and stamp it in the center of a piece of white cardstock. Then go ahead and create your focal point and embellish the card as desired. So this particular stamp set just creates that bokeh effect right in the center of the card. So this is the size of the stamp. That's the effect you'll get. So if you're looking to cover your entire piece of cardstock, you'll want to use one of the other ways that I shared. So this is just a fun way to kind of decorate up this card. And then I also decided to do just a little bit of heat embossing on this other card, but it's the same kind of design just a little different product that I used to create it. Okay, so there you go. Now you have three different ways that you can use the bokeh technique in your card making. And keep in mind, you can use this technique with any supplies that you have on hand. Just get creative with it. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.